my goodness, I could use some sunglasses right now. In my diaper bag, I keep these cheapo sunglasses and baby sunglasses. I stopped to make this video because the little man was asleep, but he woke up and he's in the back singing. Can you hear him? It's the cutest thing I've ever heard in my whole life. Are these awful? They are my $9.99 Walmart sunglasses because my designer ones got stolen. And I got these Burberry ones on sale recently. They were my favorite pair of sunglasses and they got stolen. So I'm just gonna go with like cheapos. I don't know why I'm going off on a tangent. Are you singing for us? Uh, he sings, it's so sweet. But I came in here because I'm so excited. I guess this will be like a little vlog. Adam and I, top secret, decided that we didn't really decide. It was getting, it was decided for us, but it's like long overdue. And if it wasn't decided for us, we never would do it. So we are top secret, secret getting married, totally Las Vegas style, on, wait for it, drum roll, please. <laughs> 213 because anybody that's watched me for a while knows that 213 is a significant number for us not even a negative number it was a number that showed strength and tenacity and determination and resilience it was the number of years adam was sentenced to unfairly in federal prison i always said to him i'm like in the future this is like when he was was it the first year he was out of the year before i'm like why do we need to celebrate valentine's day i think we should make 213 our day you want to be in the video so bad. Ah, uh, sing to our friends. Ah, uh, hi, monkey. <laughs> I hope I got it on him. I don't know. I had to phone backwards. So I decided 213 would be our love day because it was a special day for us instead of Valentine's Day. And then last year I was joking because when I was pregnant, we were deciding if I was going to get, if we were going to get married or not for insurance and it, we were going to do it on February 13th. And it just didn't work out because it was the one and only day of the whole entire year that Adam had to work on a Saturday. And I'm like, is that like a weird omen? We're not going to do it. We didn't have to. It didn't matter. CJ was on my insurance. If that matters to you, I don't know. So then we had a friend who just became a judge and she was like, the only, re teasing us, but she's like, the only reason I'm looking forward to this is because I could do your wedding. You guys will be my first wedding as a judge. And we were like, cool, let's do it, 2.13. We explained it to her, she's like, it's happening. So she, and, and slash wedding planner, which is amazing because she keeps asking us all, and me specifically all these questions. And I'm like, I don't know, whatever you want to do. I was never that girl that like dreamed about my wedding. I could care less. So amazing. So there's like a little backstory of this, I guess, vlog. I don't know. I just ran to the post office, got myself a coffee because I got a uh, singing boy. I got a coupon from Dutch Brothers, 50% like half off of a coffee for my half birthday, which is actually today, right now. And Adam was like, half birthday is not a thing. When I told him I wanted to celebrate half birthday for CJ, he was like, you make stuff up just to celebrate. Not in a bad way, cause I'm a child, but he didn't believe me. And I was like, look, I just got a coupon. I did not make up half birthdays. It is a thing. Call my nephew, Nicholas. He knows he's not with me. He can't participate in the coffee gift. So there's that, you snooze, you lose buddy. And hi. I got a package that I wanted to show you guys. This is so, so, so exciting. I'm telling you the background story for the wedding. I'm adding into this vlog because I'm gonna use this for the wedding. Uh-oh, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting kind of restless. I sing to him all the time, ridiculously, just to make him laugh. I was at lunch with two of my girlfriends a couple weeks ago, and one of them was like, have you ever heard of the brand Dossier? She's like, it's more affordable designer dupe scents but it's like literally the exact same thing. She said some of them last longer. She's like, and they even have Baccarat, which I've been hearing a ton about recently, but I've never smelled. It's like three or $400 for a small little bottle of the actual Baccarat. She's like, but it is like legitimately the exact same scent. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so crazy. I did a video collab with them. I was like shy about it, but I was like, you know how I do like YouTube? I was like, I did a video collab with them not that long ago. She's like, girl work with them she was like the perfume was amazing so i went home that day and i emailed dossier and i was like hey i would love to do another collaboration i'll do another video with you and they were so amazing they were like pick out some scents and we'll send them to you so i picked out three i could have kept going but i did not want to you know be like that i'm gonna smell these really quick with you we'll go through them and then we will I'll give you all the details in the description box below. I don't know what's what. All I know is the one I'm saving for a oh while. It's just the Baccarat. Baccarat Rouge or Baccarat, whatever it's called. This one is 
citrus neroli. And I think it's inspired. Yeah, there we go. Tells you on the card the name of. I don't think you could see that with the sun. It tells you the name of the scent. It tells you the notes in there. It tells you who it's inspired by, the concentration, how it works, and a thank you from them, which is sweet. Thank you. Our mission is to deliver the highest quality, luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price, giving you the freedom to explore new scents. Thank you for giving us a try. So again, this is Citrus Neroli. The, the cool thing about this too, I saw another YouTuber do this because like after my friend Kiana was telling me about them, I was watching YouTube videos of other influencers that worked with them. And somebody said, I, I didn't realize this, the top of this bottle is kind of magnetic and it stays on. Isn't that cool? I love this. Oh, wow. It smells so freaking good. It's very, very clean. I die for clean scents. It's very citrusy in the best way possible. This is a delicious spring scent. It Okay, so I guess somebody I used to hang out with, maybe one of my sisters, wore this because it reminds me of, you're gonna laugh, a bar I used to go to in Jersey City. Like what? <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it reminds me of. And I feel like it's a great spring summer scent, but also could be layered in the fall and winter. Okay, the next one I got, I was like running out, out of time to choose and like I'm, they sent me like a hundred cents to choose from and I didn't know what to get. So finally I just decided I'm like, just get one. So this one's called Powdery Tobacco. It's inspired by Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla UD Parfum. Spray it because you know I'm just going to spray it all over me instead of spraying it on like a card. Ooh, so different in such a good way. You know, like tobacco i'm like what in the world that's disgusting this is such a nice like, i always make up scenarios you guys know me but i could see this like on date night really nice dinner in like a very cozy romantic dark place if you're gonna do not dark but like you know like lit like that ever since i had the baby and i don't sleep i cannot think of words so pardon me you know what i mean like dim lit this would be perfect if you're gonna have that kind of valentine's day and it's cold out where you live and then you go back by the fireplace and you sip some white wine i don't even drink white wine but that's like what the feeling i'm getting like so romantic mm, wow that is good 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 okay and the last one is the one that i die for this I'm so excited for this. This one is called Ambry Saffron. It's just fun to say, say Ambry 10 times fast. Ambry, or is it Ambry? I am not fancy. Ambry, Ambry. Jackson, if you're nasty. It's inspired by Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. The scent is Baccarat Rouge 540 UD Perfume. Perfume. I'm not, I'm not Nancy or fancy. Wow. This is the one I was the most excited for. Okay, we'll spray it up here. Oh, wow. This one has a sweeter scent that I expected. Do you guys remember the video I did where I was talking about scents for Adam's body wash that he loved? And it was like at the, the Target men's section. And I was like, this one smells like a hot soccer dad. This one smells like a trust fund baby that wears flip-flops and smokes a lot of weed. This one smells like, I think like it was like a bachelor that drinks too much bourbon or something like that. Oh my God. It's so good. It reminds me of, it reminds me of a really fancy woman, not old woman, just like a boss babe that's like not outwardly boss babe she's like an undercover boss babe that has her stuff together but is not outwardly showy don't mess with her that's what this reminds me of we're gonna drive so cj does not freak the reason i'm putting this in my wedding vlog is because now i have to choose which scent i'm gonna wear on my wedding hi loves here we are 12 11 days before the wedding I didn't know what I wanted to do for a dress because it's not a traditional wedding. We're going to be in a suite at the Cosmopolitan, 10 people, but I still wanted a white dress because you're only a bride once, hopefully. So I ordered a beautiful, well, in the picture, it looked beautiful, long white dress. It has a little bit of a train, but not much. Don't want to do a veil, nothing like that. And it had like these gorgeous, is it chiffon? You know, that clear not tool, I don't think, but these gorgeous sleeves, right? It was $30 and then it was coming from Europe. So with $40 shipping. So I paid $70 for this dress. And in the picture, I'll put it up there, looked gorgeous. Well, when I got it, 
you do get what you pay for. It did look a little cheap. It came in a little bag. Like I'll show you guys a picture of that too. Cause Adam's like, he, he was not allowed to see the dress. He saw the picture of it, but he's not allowed to see it on me until like the moment our, um, officiant slash wedding planner slash good friend slash girl's girl slash judge is like, that's it. You're not allowed. You're forbidden, blah, blah, blah. So she's on my team. Anyway, I'm like, I think my wedding dress is here. And I ran over to the mailbox. I made him go in the other room with the baby. I tried it on. It's pretty but it's cheap looking. There's some threads coming out some places. It's just a little bit, a lot cheaper than what it looked in the picture. So I immediately brought it to the dry cleaner to get it steamed. So this way I could see it wrinkle free. Maybe that would puff up the Shifani stuff over here. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. If I still hate, I don't hate it. If I still don't love it, then I will take it to one of Adam's friends owns an FIT, a fashion institute of technology school here. So we might have to cash in a favor, call him, even if it's just a matter of me trying it on and him being like, no, you can make that work like with hair and makeup and jewelry or him being like, oh no girl, go to Macy's, get yourself a white dress, go in the prom section. You got this. I just need a second opinion. I don't have sisters here. I don't have my sisters here. So what we are doing right now is we are going to the dry cleaner to pick up the dress. Yay. And we will go from there. Love you guys. Mwah. Okay. Wow. That's up close and personal. Look at his hair. I have conditioner in my hair. I look like a scarecrow as my mom used to say. So we have a slight turn of events. I went to go pick up my dress. It was ready. She was accidentally dragging it on the floor. And if you know anything about living in the mountains of Las Vegas, there is dust and dirt everywhere. Not that there's not anywhere else, but because they were in the mountains, everything is like the sand and the dirt. So the bottom of my dress was like black and she's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. It wasn't terrible. I could have used some stain spray and gotten it off, but she's like, I'm gonna dry clean it for you. Today's Wednesday. I'm not gonna have it back until Friday and that's fine. Oh, oh. hi friends. Christian and I are here to tell you about how I canceled my wedding, but then I got married the next day. So...